Greetings. Today we're going to convert, well, we're going to make a VR project out of a first person template in Unreal Engine 4.2.7. Uh, this is a first person project. You can see here I've got the first person example map running. Uh, remember this name, first person example map. We'll use it later. And you can see here in the map, I've uh, gone and, you know, taken the first person uh level remove some walls and uh added in some buildings here and a few basic building blocks and stuff so so uh often when you are first thinking about vr working in vr you'll do a gray boxing exercise to kind of figure out you know how big you want your environment to be what your buildings should be shaped like general geometries scale etc and you're in the first person template, but then you want to make a VR project and you don't have everything you need. So the easiest way to do that is to migrate this first person example map level to uh, a VR project. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an empty VR project using the VR template in Unreal Engine. And then we will migrate uh, our level from the first person uh, game into the VR game. So let's go ahead and uh, close this out. And let's go back into our friend Epic Games Launcher. And you'll see here we've got FB. That's my first person project. This other stuff is just a little projects I'm working on. Um, so now what we want to do is create a new project. And we'll call the new project VR. So we have FP for first person, VR for VR. Uh, I'll go ahead and just hit launch here. And we always want games. And we're going to hit next. Oh. Yep, that's right. Uh, games. Next, we're going to pick virtual reality. And this is the stuff we want that isn't in our first person experience right now. So we're going to hit next, and let's call this new project, just for simplicity, VR. Our other one is called FP for first person. Our new one is going to be called VR, and we'll create the project. OK, and this is our VR project. You know, looks like the standard VR project, uh, has all the VR stuff. OK, now that we have that, we're going to close that out. We're going to go back over to Epic Games Launcher, go into Library, and go back and open up. So here's VR. Here's our new one. Here's FP. Here's our first person one. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And here we are back in our first person project. I'm on a laptop, so things are a little bit squinched. You'll see some play and launch and stuff are kind of hidden over here. But um, in general, it should look like what you have. Uh, OK, so uh, first thing to know is we have our general content folder, right? And inside the content folder, we have first person, first person BP. That's for blueprints, blueprint, FP weapon, geometry, and starter content. So let's go ahead and go into first person BP. Then we have maps. And you can see first person example map is what we're in, right? First person example map. So this is what's open. So what we want to do is we're going to right click on this level and we are going to uh, where is it? Where is it? Go into asset actions, migrate. Here it is. Uh, you don't want to export, you want to migrate. And as it says, it says copies all selected assets and their dependencies to another project. One thing to note, just a side note, make sure both projects, the one you're migrating from and the one you're migrating to, are the same version of Unreal Engine. Otherwise, you could get some real wonkiness. That shouldn't be a problem. If you're um, new or newish to Unreal, you've probably been working in the same version this whole time. So anyway, uh, just to recap, right click on the first person map, go to Asset Actions, and Migrate. And it's going to ask what you want to migrate. And to make our life easy, let's just migrate everything. And what you're seeing here, right, all this stuff, 
is roughly what's in your world outliner. Right? So go ahead and hit OK. And now it's going to ask us, well, where do you want to put it? And so where we want to put it, uh, I'm going to level out to, I use GitHub as my default parent directory for all of my projects. You can see I've got a bunch of projects in here. And we're in the first person project, right? But we want to migrate it to the VR project. So we're going to open up VR. And then we're going to open it up content. Be sure to go into the content directory inside your new VR project because that's where you want to put everything. And you can see here, you've got all your VR stuff already in here that was created when you created the project and we're going to add more to it. So go ahead and hit select folder and it's warning you, right? An asset already exists on location, uh, wall window for 100 by 400. These are assets that I'm using here, but are also already in the um, content in the VR folder. And that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is just say yes to all. And that was quick, right? Content migration completed successfully, copied a bunch of stuff over. If you really are curious, you can do show messages log here and see all the stuff that copied over. Pretty cool. And let's go ahead and close it out. So we're done now with the first person example map. Remember this is called, this level is called first person example map. Remember Unreal uses this kind of map and level interchangeably. Okay, I'm gonna close that out. We're gonna go back now to our friend the VR project and open that up. And uh, what you see now is more folders than you probably saw before. You've got first person, first person BP, FP weapon, first person weapon. This is stuff that didn't exist in our VR project before because we migrated it over from the first person project. Pretty cool. Uh, so a couple of things. You're going to notice, though, you're still in the VR template map, right? This is our generic VR template map, and we want to go into the first person map. So we're going to go into first person BP maps and open this first person example map. So now we're in the VR project, but we have the first person example map or level open, and there it is. You know, right? It looks looks pretty good. Uh, lighting needs to rebuild. Let's go ahead and do that just for fun. And to do that, right click down. Let's do build lighting only. May take a minute on a slower computer. Dismiss this message. Okay, cool. Looking good. So now what we want to do is we want to go find our old friend first person character, right? And this first person character is totally useless to us, right? Because we're now in the VR project. We don't we don't care about this first person character. So just the delete key to get rid of it and it's gone. Go ahead and do save current just in case. Always a good idea. Now what we want to do is in place actors, what we want to do is we want to add a nav mesh bounds volume. And here it is. And this just tells our VR player zero, us, where we can go and where we can't, right? So let's go ahead and put that in there and you're gonna see it's pretty small and that's okay. But what we need to do then is go into selection scale objects here and make it quite a bit bigger. And this is going to be pretty big, pretty wide. Let's zoom out a little bit here and see how we did. I'm putting this roughly in the center because I want um, and I'm going to make it pretty darn tall. I'm going to make it a little bit taller. Put everything else in the level. Uh, and I'm going to translate it a little bit because you can see I'm hanging off the edge here. And I'm not quite far enough here. Do a little bit more scaling out. A little bit more scaling. Oops. This way. I don't want to fall off the edge, but I'd like to get close. Okay, move it a little bit further out. That's pretty good. Okay, so we've got now our nav mesh bounds volume. We've adjusted the size. Now we want to go into the content folder, and what we want to do is we want to uh, add a VR pawn uh, into 
our world. And whoops, I muted myself. And the best way to do that is do VR upon. There it is. And what we want to do is we want to add that into the game. We can add it anywhere. I'll put it right here in the middle. And the, an important thing we do with the VR pawn is click on it. And if you're on a laptop like me, the stuff is kind of squinched. But if you scroll down here to details, ah, auto possess player. Right here, auto possess player is disabled. We want that to be player zero or the first person our, ourselves. I shouldn't say first person anymore. It's ourselves uh, wearing the VR headset. So we're going to make this player zero. So go ahead and hit save current. Uh, and now there's a thing we also are going to want to do. We have a new VR project, so we may have to configure our project settings a little bit just to make sure we can do a build. And we need to do something really important. Let me see if I can find it. OK, first thing let's do is let's go ahead and uh, go to apps and modes. Now, this is important, right? Because we don't want to start up anymore in this VR template map because we don't care about that thing anymore. We have our new imported map. Sorry, my play bar is getting in the way. Uh, we have our new imported map that is first person example map. So, and let's make our default map the same, first person example map. That way, when we open the project and also when we load it in our headset, we will get the correct map. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to go down to our old friend platforms. Uh, let's do Android. And what we need to do then is to configure now. And we need to come down here. We're going to get an error if we don't fix this. You'll see it says support ARM v7. We don't want that. We want ARM64. Now, what you don't want to do is that. You do want to do that. You want to check it, but you also want to uncheck arm v7. Okay, that I think should be enough to get us going. We'll find out. Save current. So uh, you can do a little test by going into uh, active play mode. And instead of doing selective viewport, do simulate. And now let's do. Oh yeah, this is looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna hit stop. And now let's try, or excuse me, doing a launch. And under launch options, I have Quest 2, so that's good. My Quest 2 is connected. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna check my log over here to see if I have any error messages. So it'll take a little while. I'll try to speed it up so you're not twiddling your thumbs. OK, I'm deploying to the Quest 2. I have casting turned on on my headset, so I'm going to try to cast to a browser window so you can see what I'm seeing in the headset. Just a reminder, if you see yellow warnings in here, that's usually not a problem. When you see a red one, then you know you've got a problem. So far, so good. Always when building an APK, you want to cross your fingers. I always feel like when I'm building an APK, it's like um, transporting a giant sheet of glass in the back of your car or something. It just feels like the most fragile moment where anything could go wrong and all of a sudden you'll have thousands of little glass pieces in the back of your car. OK, running BR on Quest 2. So let's take a look. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to cover up the sensor to see if we can see that. Oh, let me go into to my browser. Uh, I have to turn the casting back on. You can see Let me resume. We are in our first person level and and here we go. We are in our new little first person building and cruising around. First person is now in VR.
not so bad, right? Uh, fiddly, but not horribly so. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a shout.